East Texas is what we call a fire-dependent ecosystem. The pine trees in East Texas are, are adapted to this fire environment. Uh, Native Americans thousands of years ago recognized the importance of prescribed burning uh, and would intentionally light fires in their environment to help control the understory for wildlife species and also grazing. Today we're out doing some prescribed burning here on the Jones State Forest. Prescribed burning is one of numerous uh, forest management techniques we use here on the forest uh, and it's a really beneficial tool. It returns nutrients to the soil, it helps reduce fuel loading you know, in the event of a, of a large-scale wildfire in, in the forest, and it's also one of the most cost-effective and much more available to landowners in East Texas. The Jones State Forest is located in the heart of Montgomery County. There's a lot more public around, a lot more visibility. And we like to notify surrounding landowners, so when they look out their window and see this, this column of smoke, they don't think there's some wildfire coming for them. <laughs> when we've selected a, a stand for burning, we write the prescribed burn plan at least six months in advance. Once we've got the prescribed burn plan in place, it's important that we reinforce our boundary lines, so this can be on any of our roads or fire break systems within the forest. Today on this prescribed burn, we had firefighters in the compartments dragging what we call drip torches. We also have firefighters what we call holding resources, and those holding resources are typically in a uh, Type 6 wildland engine or they're on a bulldozer. In the process of prescribed burning, the actual flames on the ground portion can go relatively quickly. For instance, this 20-acre compartment we had here that we were burning today, the actual dragging the drip torches and putting fire on the ground it was only roughly 30 or 35 minutes. Now the longest portion of any prescribed fire burn operation is going to be the mop-up phase. Most of the firefighters, once we're done burning, uh, we're out here within the compartment uh, mopping up. And that can be using hand tools and using dirt and covering up any, any heavy fuels, so large tree trunks or any other tree stumps, things like that, that are burning. We want to make sure that we knock down as much of the residual heat that's still within the compartment uh, for safety reasons, for the public, and for ourselves. After a prescribed burn, it can look somewhat devastating uh, to someone if you're initially coming up on it, but through the process of secondary succession in this uh, fire-dependent ecosystem that we talked about, um, native grasses and, and things are already starting to come back up. We did some prescribed burning maybe two weeks ago here on the state forest, and we're already seeing a lot of those native grasses on the forest floor coming up. And a year or two down the line, um, your hardwood and brush component will significantly decrease, um, and you'll create that open pine savanna atmosphere and ecosystem that you're looking for. If you're interested in learning more about the benefits of prescribed burning, please feel free to visit the Texas A&M Forest Service website at tfsweb.tamu.edu. You can also reach out to your local East Texas District Forester for more information. Thanks for joining us.